the scary truth about the Golden State Warriors. So as you all know, the season is coming closer and closer, and in today's video, we're going to be going through five scary truths about the Golden State Warriors that you may not know, and also the NBA may not know as well. So before we get into it, make sure you like this video, and don't forget, if you want more Golden State Warriors content like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that red button down below. Guys, 98% of you are still not subscribed, so it would mean the world if you could subscribe to the channel. But let's get into the first scary truth, and the first scary truth is that Andrew Wiggins is staying with the Golden State Warriors. Now, I think we all know how well Andrew Wiggins did in the NBA Finals and also during the regular season. During the playoffs, he actually averaged 16.5 points, 7.5 rebounds, and 1.8 assists. But we all know some of the key games he had during the series against Boston and how he really helped on the defensive end that really doesn't show up on the stat sheet. He was actually such a vital player that he actually received the second most votes when it came to finals. Finals MVP, but of course, Steph Curry took that crown. So Andrew Wiggins is definitely a huge part of this Golden State Warriors team and also a huge part of their NBA championship last season. Now with his contract coming to an end this year, a lot of other NBA teams are interested on getting someone like Andrew Wiggins for their roster in order to help them win an NBA championship. However, Andrew Wiggins has made it clear that he is going to do whatever it takes to stay with this Golden State Warriors roster and to win more championships here, and I absolutely love it love that. I think Wiggins is such a vital person for this roster, like I've said time and time again, but also what he brings to the table is that great defense that really has them lock up star players on other teams. He did that well against the Boston series, he did it really well against the Mavs series as well, and you can really see during the playoff run, his defense plays a huge part. He can definitely play a lot of positions when it comes to defending, I can definitely see him guarding even a power forward, maybe even sometimes a center if possible, and also all the way down to the point guard position and I think that's what makes Wiggins so deadly on defense and why he is such a vital player so a lot of teams are looking to actually get him in the roster you know they have been rumors going around saying Golden State Warriors could trade him for someone else but it does seem that Wiggins wants to stay and it also does seem that the Warriors want to keep him as well I really do feel there is no other small forward that fits this team better than Andrew Wiggins himself he complements the other players very well with Steph, Clay, Drew Raymond, they all play on the same page, which I think is fantastic. And also, I've had people in my comments, you know, when I mentioned the KD trade, they all prefer Andrew Wiggins over KD. And I think that's because Andrew Wiggins definitely fits this team so much better. You know, don't get me wrong, KD is obviously an all star. He is a better player than Andrew Wiggins in a sense of, you know, shooting and all that. However, when it comes to actually fitting with the roster, having great chemistry within the team, Andrew Wiggins definitely is the better fit. And I think that's what a lot of you are saying in the comments as well, which I think is fantastic. Scary truth number two is the Golden State Warriors still have one more roster spot left and can give it to a great free agent. Now, as you all know, free agency is still available and some NBA teams are still looking to sign final people for their roster and there is still a lot of great, you know, free agents that are still left. Now, to go through a couple of them, we have Dennis Schroeder. Dennis Schroeder is a great player. However, I don't think it will fit because we already have Jordan Poole and Steph Curry. We have Carmelo. You know, Carmelo, we all know, great all-star, not in today's current environment, but he was a great all-star back in the day. I still think he can provide a lot for a team such as the Warriors, especially on the three-point scoring side of things. Bloodsoe is also another option, but he's also a guard. Hassan Whiteside, okay? Hassan Whiteside is a big body in the paint, and I think he would be a great rim protector for Golden State Warriors. We have my personal favorite as well, DeMarcus Cousins. I've done multiple videos on DeMarcus Cousins and why I think he's perfect for this roster. On top of all of that, when it comes to other these free agents, DeMarcus Cousins already has history with the Golden State Warriors, and they already absolutely love him. We've seen it time and time again. Draymond Green has shown love even after he has left the Golden State Warriors, showing love to DeMarcus Cousins. Same with Steve Kerr, Steph, all those great players. So they already have a great chemistry and good bond within each other. And I think that will play a huge part when it comes to, you know, signing someone for that 15th roster spot. They also have Jared Culliver from the Memphis Grizzlies and I think he would also be a good pick as well we also have Ben McElmore Ben McElmore is a guard you know and he can't really play forward position and I think the guard areas are already filled and Jordan Nawara he's also another player from the Bucks that can also be signed as well so there are a lot of still top free agents left and obviously they can definitely go to some great teams there are a couple of them that may not fit the bill you know such as you know players such as the guards Dennis Schroeder Eric Bloodsoe. however 
However, when it comes to others such as Hassan Whiteside, to Marcus Cousins, you know, I think those players will really fit very, very well. And they can definitely have a lot of minutes played because when it comes to the big man positions, they could use one or two extra players. Scary truth number three is Andre Iguodala may likely join the coaching staff for the Golden State Warriors. Now, I think this is honestly going to be huge. A lot of people think that this is just a normal decision. He may just be like an assistant coach or anything like that. But I'm telling you right now, having Andre Iguodala still a part of this team in some way, especially in the coaching staff, I think will honestly be fantastic for this team. Now, it isn't certain that he is joining the coaching staff just as of yet. Supposedly, the Warriors have offered it to him. He's still thinking about it, whether he wants to come back a player or whether he does want to come and be a part of the coaching staff, because that's basically what he does nowadays. Now, in his most recent season, he was only averaging around 11 minutes per game, and he was only averaging 4 points, 3.2 rebounds, and 3.7 assists. So he wasn't putting up some crazy stat line or anything like that, and obviously with the younger players such as Wiggins, and you know, at the time, it was Otto Porter Jr. at his position, um, and Gary Payton the second. There were other players that were in his position, and they definitely got more game time than Andre Iguodala. So he was basically left just coaching from the sideline most of the time, and really giving these young players, you know, veteran experience and what he's capable of doing. Don't get me wrong, Andre Iguodala is an absolute beast. He was actually one of my favorite players back in the Philly days. He was just such a great high flyer. He was honestly cheese in 2K as well. But when it comes to everything, Iguodala, I think, still needs to be a part of this Warriors roster because he still provides a lot when it comes to the knowledge he has for the game, especially for the younger ones. There are obviously a lot of young players coming into the Golden State Warriors roster. They're no longer all at that 30 years range, uh, you know, where they all have, you know, a lot of experience. They are starting to get younger. You got Kaminga now coming up. You got Moses Moody. You got, you know, Dante DiVincenzo, who is still fairly young. Mac McClung, who's coming up. Jordan Poole. So the list really does go on. And the more veterans is very, very good to have because they can really teach the young ones on how to really, you know, develop their game and be at a high level. And I think what makes it really interesting as well is that, you know, him being under Steve Kerr and coaching together, I think will honestly be really, really good. Steve Kerr is such a great coach and he really doesn't get enough, I guess, credible uh, or credit where it's due. He's honestly done such a great job with his team and adding someone like Iguodala will only make this team 10 times better. Scary truth number four is Jordan Poole is looking to stay with the Golden State Warriors. Now, a lot of other teams have been eyeing Jordan Poole because he's basically a second Steph Curry. Now, I wouldn't say he's exactly there with Steph Curry because Steph Curry is definitely gone down as the greatest shooter alive. But when it comes to his play style, what he's able to do, he's definitely like a mini Steph Curry, which I think is honestly fantastic to have a, a person like Steph Curry in your team. And, you know, when he gets subbed out, he gets subbed out by a player that literally plays almost exactly like him, which is Jordan Poole, I think is hilarious. But Jordan Poole is definitely on a lot of people's radar. Great three point shooter. He's able to handle the ball well. Great playmaking abilities. Um, and, you know, with all that in saying, especially in today's NBA, that's what a lot of teams want. Now, Jordan Poole is looking to actually re sign with the Golden State Warriors. He actually has a player option um, for the season when it comes to, you know, adding another season onto his contract. However, he is probably going to actually decline that, but re sign with a bigger contract. So, this may run into a lot of issues because obviously, Warriors, they are in a little bit of a luxury tax problem where there's a lot of players that have high payroll and their value continues to rise. So that's something they're definitely going to have to deal with. But Jordan Poole has said that he is willing to stay, you know, in the Golden State Warriors for as long as possible. And I think that would be better off for his career. We may see him leave maybe in five, you know, five to seven years or so. But I feel like if he can win as many championships as possible, Jordan Poole is definitely going to stay with the Warriors for as long as possible as well. So it is going to be interesting to see how all of this plays out. I think it will honestly be fantastic, especially for Golden State Warriors to keep someone like Jordan Poole. Last season, he did average 18.5 points, 4 assists, and 3.4 rebounds per game. So he's really, really good in a sense where, you know, he's providing a lot for this team, especially for coming off the bench. And I think, you know, next season, he's going to be given a bigger role. He may still be coming off the bench, but I really do see him getting a lot more minutes, especially with Gary Payton the second now no longer here, and also Otto Porter. Now, we obviously did sign players such as Dante DiVincenzo and all that, but I think they are going to have to keep way because Jordan Poole is probably going to be the main guy for that second unit, which I think is super important. So keeping someone like Jordan Poole is a must, and I think it is going to happen, even though a lot of NBA teams are very interested 
interested on getting someone like Jordan Poole in their roster. Now the fifth scary truth about the Golden State Warriors is Draymond Green is staying for another season and will probably stay until he retires. Now Draymond Green has made it known that he wants a max contract and all of that but it has been rumored around the league that Draymond Green is literally just doing this to get the max out he can when it comes to his contract. Now if he doesn't get max but he does get close to a max contract I really do think Draymond is going to keep it. I really doubt Draymond Green is going to leave the Golden State Warriors where he's won multiple championships. He plays with players that he's played with you know almost his whole entire career with Steph and Clay there and I don't think he's going to leave that all just to join a team like let's say no offense but Orlando Magic who can play him you know 30 40 million. So I honestly think Draymond Green he is getting a little bit older so I don't think he is going to get a max contract somewhere else that is actually an all-star team or like a superstar type NBA championship contender. He's probably going to get a max contract somewhere where you know they don't really have a lot of wins and they're looking to you know really revamp their roster. So I'm thinking teams that are still in rebuilding phase you got Houston Rockets you got Cleveland who used to be but now with Donovan Mitchell I think there's probably a little bit better now Orlando Magic um, you also got other teams such as OKC who are still trying to rebuild so those are probably the teams he's going to actually get a proper max contract from but he's probably never going to win another NBA championship forever pretty much I'll pretty much be the end of his career so I really don't see Draymond Green leaving but let me know down in the comments what you think do you think Draymond Green will actually leave just to get paid an extra five to ten million even though he's already made multiple millions so far let me know down in the comments thank you so much for watching today's video guys and I'll see you soon peace